Mitigating the risks in supply chain management. How a single bad supplier can cost your company millions. Hello, I'm Michelle Allenson, and on behalf of Aerospace Alloys, we are pleased to present some current research that we trust will improve your supply chain management and result in higher productivity and profits for your company. Supply chain managers have never been under more pressure to perform to perfection. Let's look at some of the challenges standing in their way. Challenge number one, conquering the we need it yesterday mentality. In response to accelerating consumer demand, 43% of manufacturers say that they have been forced to shorten their cycle time over the past five years. And Americans are impatient. 35% of manufacturers will start receiving customer complaints after a single supply chain delay. Unfortunately, it is common to fall behind schedule. 47% of manufacturers commonly experience major or minor delays in the supply chain and have problems with supplier delivery time. This is a jump of 27% just since 2009, and it is not getting much better. Let's look at challenge number two, ensuring quality materials. The vast majority of manufacturing components today are produced in emerging markets. More than 50% of components come out of China alone, as chronicled by an executive top mind survey by KPMG in 2013. As you would have suspected, imports from China have reached an all-time high. The United States imported $425 million worth of components from China in 2012, and this is a 44% jump since 2009. Unfortunately, this trend is only getting more pronounced. Studies have found that over the next two years, the majority of companies plan to increase their sourcing from China, as well as from Brazil, India, Mexico, Vietnam, and Bangladesh. When you look at these wages, it's easy to see why. The cost differential is enormous. As of 2013, the average labor cost in the United States was $35.40 per hour. Brazil, $12. China, $2.80. And India? 99 cents an hour. The cost differential between the U.S. and India is a staggering 3,833%. It is no wonder components are so cheap. But will cheap materials lead to lower quality and costly repercussions? A recent study found that the quality of components trumps availability, price, and customer service when it comes to choosing a supplier. In fact, quality is the number one criteria of global manufacturers used to measure their suppliers. And that brings us to challenge number three, mounting government regulations. Between 2009 to 2013, an astounding $518 billion was spent by U.S. businesses on regulatory costs that is more than the combined GDP of Norway and Portugal. The industry with the highest aggregate cost of regulations? Manufacturing. Manufacturers must comply with numerous regulations established by OSHA, ISO, NADCAP, ITAR, the EPA, REACH, and DFAR, to mention a few. That brings us to challenge number four, avoiding devastating recalls and lawsuits. The number of recalls has been steadily on the rise, jumping 62% since 2007. Today, there are 6.5 recalls every day. These recalls can be devastating. 77% of companies have been affected by a recall in the last five years. 81% of companies say that the financial risk they face from a potential recall is significant to catastrophic. And finally, challenge number five, protecting that reputation. The high number of recalls in court cases has brought quality to the forefront of consumers' minds. While 90% of manufacturers feel that their products are safe and reliable, consumers disagree. 70% of consumers do not trust that manufacturers are doing everything they can to ensure quality before launching a product. And need I mention, when consumers are unhappy, bad news travels fast. 76% of Americans talk about the products they use during a typical day. 72 million U.S. adults will regularly give word-of-mouth advice about products and services. 
And the digital age speeds up this process exponentially, with more than 67% of online Americans using social media, what may have once been told to a few friends is now shared by hundreds, thousands, or more. We trust that you found value in this presentation on mitigating the risks in supply chain management and how a single bad supplier could cost your company millions. On behalf of the entire team here at Aerospace Alloys, we look forward to building a new and mutually successful relationship with you. I welcome the opportunity to personally speak with you to learn firsthand how our products and services can bring value to your supply chain. I'm Michelle Allenson, thanking you for watching. Wow.